This is one of our favorite exhibits, probably because it gives you a great look at the six-arm stars and brittle stars. For the most part, the brittle stars do remain well hidden, but you can see their arms sticking out of rocks as they try to collect plankton from the water to eat. Every once in a while, you get pretty lucky and one of the brittle stars will be up against the glass so you can see the whole body. The easy to find six arm stars will quickly fascinate visitors as they learn about these amazing animals. Of course, they have six arms, which is pretty cool. But what's really fascinating is that they will brood their young. They actually hold the eggs just underneath them and with their two feet help keep them clean and care for them. The little eggs will develop into tiny little sea stars and eventually get big enough to walk away from the parent. This typically happens around the months of February and March. So come the springtime, our exhibit will be covered in little white baby sea stars that resemble snowflakes. With hundreds of babies in the exhibit, it makes it difficult to clean. So as you can see, it does get pretty filthy. At least once a year, we'll go through the process of giving this exhibit a deep clean. That involves taking everything out, cleaning it, and then replacing it. We start with the easy to remove adults. Each adult is removed and placed in a temporary holding container. We also remove other objects from the exhibit, such as the lighting fixture. But when we remove these items, they have to be thoroughly inspected because we never know where a little baby sea star might be hiding. The next items to come out of the exhibit are rocks. The large rocks are removed and inspected one at a time. Found baby stars are carefully collected and placed in a separate holding container. As we give each rock a gentle rinse with water, we use a fine mesh screen underneath to help trap any of the baby sea stars that have gotten washed away. With a keen eye, the baby sea stars are spotted against the dark color of the mesh screen, and they are placed into the baby holding container. With the large rocks taken care of, it is now time to search through the bottom rocks. This process relies heavily on the dark fine mesh of the screen. Each rock or shell piece is inspected for baby sea stars. This part of the process requires a lot of patience as it can take over an hour to complete. Luckily, with the help of Eagle Eye volunteer Shirley, this process is able to get done a bit faster. Oh, and remember those hard to see brittle stars? Well, during cleaning time, we get to see why they are also named serpentine stars or serpent stars. Check out how they use their arms to maneuver themselves around. Cleaning time is also when we get to admire their beauty. Volunteer Bert is really great at capturing this beauty in his photographs. While we sorted through rocks looking for babies, the tank got a good scrub down. With a nice clean tank, we are back to enjoying the sights of these amazing animals. Thanks for watching.